British Ministry of Defence has released the first footage of its new Dragonfire laser gun shooting down a drone in the skies over Scotland. The Dragonfire is a prototype laser that's cost more than £140 million to develop. It claims to be able to shoot down an object the size of a pound coin from more than a mile away. Now, it's been in development for many, many years. It's been running later than planned. We've seen three releases of information on this significantly. The first was the first ever photographs of the drone shooting down a tethered target. More recently, we saw still photographs of the same laser shooting down a drone that was flying. And now the Ministry of Defence has released the footage. Now, the, the footage is not particularly uh, different to those still images. What we see uh, is a laser beam shooting up into the sky at around a 45 degree angle. One of the complexities that the people who've been developing this weapon have had to overcome is how to produce such a powerful laser without actually destroying the device and the mirrors within the device that aim it onto its target. And one of the other problems, of course, is where does that laser beam end? If you're shooting it out the sky, what is behind your target? Is it going to hit something in space? Now, these are potentially the future weapons of war. They do not require ammunition, so potentially it's a gun that never runs out of ammo. The prediction at the moment is these sorts of devices will initially be based on large warships because those warships can generate the power, the electricity that the lasers need. But actually, uh, what we learned, the Ministry of Defence claimed that it costs just about £10 a pop to fire this. So if and when these weapons are produced on a larger scale, they may actually produce huge savings for the armed forces, particularly giving them, giving them the capability to shoot down uh, threats from swarms of drones, which is something, as we've seen in the Ukraine war, an evolving threat, and of course we've seen in the Red Sea with the Houthi uh, Iran-backed Houthi rebels based in Yemen attacking shipping in the Red Sea. So uh, another landmark, or at least an, a release of information from another landmark in the development of this British laser gun.